What's up YouTube? Today we're going to be putting the very first mod on our 2019 Yamaha Raptor 700. In the last video I asked you guys to post your best guess what was the first mod that I'm going to put on this Raptor 700. What was the first mod that you guys would do? Got a lot of really good guesses. Um, exhaust, intake, programmer, tires, all those things, yep, absolutely. We plan on doing those two really soon, but the very first mod, drum roll, case saver. So today I'm gonna be installing the case saver. Uh, this is a case saver by DRW Performance. Uh, I bought this particular uh, case saver off of the DRW Performance eBay page. Um, we'll go ahead and post a link to that on the screen right now. And this is a really nice case saver. This is one of the best that I have been able to find. Uh, they make them for both the Raptor and for the Banshee. Uh, this is the one for the Raptor right here. You can see the mount holes are at the bottom and the top. So what is a case saver? Well, a case saver is designed to protect your cases, obviously, when your chain flies off or breaks. It tends to spin around the front sprocket and wad up right up around the front area, right up here. And when that happens, um, it tends to break the case. It tends to split it and it'll cause an oil leak or you know, some sort of other engine issue from having a hole in the side of the case. It really instantly devalues your quad or dirt bike, motorcycle, whatever you have. When your chain impacts the case that hard and leaves permanent damage, it really does affect the value. The one thing I hate to go see Craigslist or any kind of classified ad, you go to look at a used motorcycle, four-wheeler, you get there and they've got a whole big wad of JB Weld or they've tried to weld the case and it's just leaking oil or something there. It's just really not a good thing. Okay, so this is our factory Yamaha case saver and you can see it's just a cheap plastic, uh, flimsy piece of plastic. And I'm going to prove how cheap and flimsy it is here in just a minute. But I just wanted to show you, you know, it's just a flimsy, flexible piece of plastic, very thin, and I really doubt that that would do anything. I really doubt that would do anything if the chain was to break in the way of preventing your case, because you can see if this chain, you know, if this was to break and fly forward, it's gonna go directly into this, which, which is the side of your engine case. So that could be an expensive repair, especially if you're not the kind of person that knows how to repair an engine by taking it all the way completely down and removing the cases. Um, it would require a complete engine um, disassembly to replace that case or uh, try and patch it up, which can work sometimes, but again, it just looks terrible. It's not a good thing. It devalues your vehicle, uh, you know, if you're going to ever try and resell it again. Um, so let's go ahead and get that stock case saver off of there, uh, and then we're going to destroy it. And whatever torture we put that through, um, I'll then do the same thing to the uh, new DRW performance case saver and uh, demonstrate how much stronger they are. Okay, so I'm just going to remove these two Allen screws first. So two bolts and uh, they're not usually very tight either. Okay, and that's it. That's the plastic piece right there that is supposed to protect your engine. And that part right there, which normally sits right about like that, is supposed to protect the front. Actually, I think it sits more like that. That's supposed to protect the front. So this flimsy little tiny piece of metal right here and this flimsy piece of plastic, those are supposed to support uh, a full force of a chain flying off, which, you know, just kind of ridiculous to think about. Now you can see even better uh, where if those break, if this chain flies off, you know, it's going to contact the side of the case right here, which this case wouldn't be too difficult to replace. But if it did happen to go sideways or if it broke these posts off, uh, then you'd have no place to mount your case saver, uh, your sprocket guard and uh, it might potentially do some damage back here, which would be extremely expensive to replace. So um, it's just a really good idea to replace it with a better case saver. And so you can see how the DRW case saver just sits right in there.
All right, so once you get these two pieces off, you can start focusing on this other little black plastic piece down here. Now I went ahead and put just a little bit of blue tape on here just to protect it while I'm trimming, but we're gonna be trimming back this black plastic piece. We're gonna trim it right about to that second little circle there. You can see there's a big circle and a little circle. We're gonna trim it right to that little circle right there. And that's just because the back side of the new case saver will hit against that if we don't trim it. So you can see there, uh, the lower chain guide area inside of there, uh, it will hit um, that spot if we don't trim it back. So we're just gonna trim that back and then we can finish installing our case saver. All right, so this little coping blade is what I use. It's just a little tiny hacksaw blade like for uh, doing trim or uh, light woodworking, light carpentry work. Just a little tiny saw blade, but you can imagine you could use pretty much anything. And we're just gonna cut it basically right at that second little circle there. Now what makes the DRW Performance Case Saver better than these other ones, you see these little posts that stick out where the normal mounts are? There's one on the bottom and there's one on the top. What DRW has done is they have insets inside of their case saver where those posts sit. So those posts go down inside of here. And then when you bolt this on, it actually sits over that. You can see how tight the tolerances are here between the DRW Performance Case Saver and the case. So it further strengthens the case saver by not only having these two mounting points, the upper and lower mounting points, but it's also reinforced by following the contour of the case on the left side there. You can see the case saver follows the contours of the Raptor 700 case almost perfectly. So once you have the case saver in there, it's just a matter of screwing down a couple of bolts and maybe a little bit of Loctite, a little bit of blue Loctite on those to keep them from wiggling out. So that's our video for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching. Thanks for watching Trail Blogger. A big congratulations to Brandon from Arkansas for guessing the correct mod. Uh, he won the Rocky Mountain gift card, $50 gift certificate that we were giving away during the last video. Um, so congratulations, Brandon from Arkansas. I hope you enjoy that gift card at Rocky Mountain ATV. In the next video, we're gonna be replacing the stock exhaust system on this Yamaha Raptor with a lighter, more freer flowing exhaust system. We're also gonna be adding a fuel tuner. So this week, what I want you guys to do, uh, I'm gonna be giving out another $50 gift card. I want you guys to guess what kind of exhaust system are we gonna put on this Raptor 700 first. Let me know in the comments below, guys. Leave me a comment, take a guess. What kind of exhaust system do you think I'm gonna bolt on this first? We're gonna do a full system and tuner. Leave me a comment, guys, take a guess. The first person to guess the right exhaust system, I'm gonna give another $50 gift card to. I'll announce the winner in a couple of days. I'll look at the comments and look at the first person to guess the correct exhaust system for this Raptor 700. I already have the exhaust system. It already came in off the truck, sitting in the, the shop in there. I'm gonna actually go install it right now. I'll do the big final reveal next video and let you guys know what was the exhaust system that I installed. Take a guess, guys. The winner gets a $50 gift certificate at Rocky Mountain ATV. So thanks again for watching everybody. Thanks for watching Trail Blogger. Really appreciate everybody who tunes in, leaves a comment, says hello. 
leave a comment, say hi, let me know what you think of the new Raptor project. And don't forget guys, I do have the Banshee still. The Banshee will be back soon. Got a few more things to finish up on that project before we can take it for the first ride, but I will have the Banshee back on the road soon. Please don't forget to like this video, subscribe if you want to see more trail blogger videos, and hit that bell icon if you want to be notified instantly of new trail blogger videos. All right, everybody, I'll see you all next time. Thank you. You're welcome.